Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl. And in today's video, I will demonstrate you uh, one of the uh, ETL tools which we use to load data in BMC Remedy or automate a process in BMC Remedy called Spoon. So this tool basically um, is a third party tool, uh, but BMC has integrated it with Remedy system. So we will get custom processes for BMC Remedy, which we can use to basically load the data to, you know, uh, do data massaging, do, uh, you know, uh, all sort of data loading activities on BMC Remedy. Additionally, this tool also can have help us in building a process and then we can also automate that process. So uh, let's get started. Now, uh, before we proceed with uh, this tool, I would just explain you that when you install BMC Remedy, uh, this tool gets installed along with the uh, components. You will have it. So you will have it here. BMC, this is called BMC Atrium Integrator Spoon. It's, a, it's actually a third party tool, which is called Spoon. Uh, <coughs> sorry, which is from uh, but BMC has integrated it with and now it is called as BMC at Rim Integrated Spoon. So now I have already logged in. You can log in with your BMC credentials, with your admin credentials with which you log in into your developer studio. Same credentials are needed here. You need an admin permission. So once you are lo uh, logged in into the system, you will be able to see and create new uh, processes or data load processes. Now, if you want to see the existing processes, there's an option here. You can go here in tools, repository, and then you can say uh, explore. <coughs> so if it will take you to a, you know, this process, and currently I have only two processes, but if you have installed BMC other components like ITSM, then you will have a lot of uh, out of the box processes, which are uh, provided here or the jobs and transformations which are given as part of BMC installation they will be automatically available here now uh, let me explain you this how you create a new transformation and job so first of all um, we will create one transformation and then we will uh, assign this transformation into a job and then we can run the job to do the data load process okay so to create a new transformation, you can click here, file, new, then transformation, and it will open up to a page. It's any normal, uh, you know, studio, which normally we use for developing uh, different, you know, different studios in different uh, languages. Similarly, this is also a studio where you develop the process. So here, <coughs> so here, if I can see, uh, I have a lot of processes here like input, output, transform. So these are different processes which are given to us. Uh, you can see also there is a process related to BMC remedy like AR input, ARX file. So this um, AR input file, if you take your cursor here, it will explain you what exactly this is. So this is a process where you can read some data from AR system. So now let's on to, I have already created one process so let me explain you that okay so what i have done initially i have taken a csv file now uh, my csv file is stored here in this location this is my, st my student report.csv now i need to load its data into bmc remedy so what i have done i have taken this csv input you have to just hold it and drag it here then similar to this so then you have to just double click it double click then you can uh, what you need to do you need to browse and then go to your um, file and then you have to just select it so if you click on this and click on open then it will come here once it is here then click on get fields it will basically bring all the fields of the excel file and if you want to preview the data you can preview the data just give a you know number count then you can see the records of the file so now this is done okay i have got my file the data is with me on my spoon now i need to load it to bmc remedy 
Now to write it to BMC Remedy, there is a process called AR output, <coughs> which I have used here. You can see this process here also. If you drag it here only, it will be available. So now I have already added it. It's here. So now if I double click on this, so first of all, I need to make AR system connection. If you do not have anything here, you can click on new. It will open up a console where you can give your connection details to AR system. So I have already added it. So let me show you that. So this is just my IP for my AR system server. And these are my credentials, username. We don't need to give any password. Now then we have to click on test. If it says connection to database, OK, that means it is connecting to AR system. If there are any errors, you will come to know. You will get the error message here itself. So then I say OK. Then this is for duplicates. If in case you want to see what, what you need to do when the, there is a duplicate record, by default it is matched, it matches by request ID. You can use some other fields. If you need to use it, just uncheck it and then you can select it here. Currently, we will not do anything with this. And then uh, data handling, uh, this is like required fields are uh, required. In, when you are loading the data, you need uh, required fields. You have, have to enforce the pattern matching. Suppose there's a pattern matching on a field, you need to enforce it. Skip workflow processing means the workflow which is on the form will be skipped. So currently, by, we are selecting the default options. We are not skipping any workflow then uh, we will go to field mapping so in the field mapping i have already built this mapping so if you if when you open a new one you can click on this edit mapping so let me show you how exactly it will be so that i'll explain you okay so it will be something like this so if i now click on auto map so it will auto map some of the fields with with which with it has got the you know names so currently it has auto mapped all of them status only it hasn't mapped i will map it with here these are the fields which i am reading from excel and these are the form fields so i will say okay status and here i will say okay okay now i have also done error handling on this so what i have done there is a step i have added uh, so you can from here you can just use this cursor you can just connect it and then it will say you whether you want to <coughs> for example this is my file here i will say from here i will go to this curve. then it will tell me this this is a main output or this is an error output if it's a normal output i will select this one but in my case i have selected error so if i uh, let me delete this just a minute let me clear this sorry guys i'm just not able to handle this Okay, now it has gone. So now uh, this is my step, what I have done. So here if you right click, go to error handling, you can define here the field name, the error field name, and then uh, error codes if any. Okay, so now I have defined these and then I have used an uh, Excel writer. You can get it from here. If you say Excel, you can say this one. Microsoft Excel output. So this will write a new Excel file in your local directory. So this is what I have used. Now let's see what exactly this is. It has nothing. It is just uh, displaying me all the fields plus it is displaying me the these fields uh, which have the uh, error in case there is an error. Okay. <coughs> okay, let's not use this phone number. Getting a problem. Delete this. Okay. Okay. Now uh, my job is ready. You have to just click here. Uh, um, you have to just save it here. So my job is saved now. 
I can run directly this job from here and it will give me the output but now what I need to do I need to create a uh, sorry I can this is a transformation I can run transformation directly from here but now what I will do I have created a job so this is my now new job so you can directly click here on this file job then in the job you have to just add general step just start then uh, in the start you will just add transformation so let's say this transformation then you have to connect this you have to take cursor here you get an option to click connect and click here double click this so you can use transformation by file name by names and directory of the transformation or by reference number if i click on reference number it will give me the list which are here so i will say my process data load process which is this one which i have created as a transformation say okay and then this is the success step so that means if everything goes fine it goes to the system so this is how a job is created let's save the file and then it job will be created this is what i have done here now let's run this job and see what is happening so now i am running this job <coughs> go to the login okay job has already ended now you can see here ar output finished processing input uh, zero output four read four write four so it has read four records and it has written but there is no error here if there are any errors they will come here in the um, in your section so now let's go to the form this is my form okay so there are four records now added to the uh, you know my form so now again I will run this job. Okay, again it has loaded the four new records. So you can see here it has loaded. Now I will show you how the uh, how the error handling works. Okay, now let's suppose let me go to the file. This is my file where it is this is if you see if i go to the transformation i have made it to write it on the desktop this is my file okay now let me open it and see okay currently there is nothing in this file because there is no error so let me do one thing now let me go back here instead of phone number i will put some string i will save it go back my job okay i will run this job okay the job is executed but there is some error okay okay now let's see what uh, what the error file says open it okay now you can see for this particular record there is an error unexpected conversion error converting value phone number to integer so phone number i have given if you see here i have given it as a string so that's the reason i got an error here in the excel file saying that my job has executed it has loaded three records but it has not loaded this one because of this error now if you go to the system you can see there are 12 records currently so it has loaded only three records so the fourth one was captured in the excel file as error so this is how you basically you know define a transformation then create a job and add the transformation to it and then you can execute it <coughs> you can also uh, schedule it uh, from the bmc um, remedy that we will take in a separate video that's called ai transformation where we will we can schedule a job from bmc remediates but this was just a basic understanding of creating a um, you know transformation or a data load process in spoon and uh, then how to execute that through a job and how to identify errors in the job and then you know debug it and um, write those errors to an excel file so this is just a simple uh, transformation you can uh, build multiple uh, you know integrations through different systems then you can use these utilities here you can see here there are a lot of uh, uh, things available for a particular transformation 
lot of options for input uh, output so you can read data from number of sources and then uh, even you can integrate with ldap using the uh, using this spoon you can read data from any html file or you can read data from some third party system or you can read data from a database and then you can process it and load it into the remedy system this was just a basic uh, you know uh, way of loading the uh, data into a remedy system using the spoon so this is it from uh, my side for this video i hope you have liked this video so please uh, subscribe to my channel and share it and like it so that i'll get you more such informative videos in future thank you